Yes. Thank you very much. We are so very glad to be able to connect to you uh, all over again for a very important discussion in, in our Facebook live series. We are trying to connect to our students and, and cover all, all the educational dimensions that we have. Today we are going to discuss a very important theme that is learning to be creative, which is a part of BEGE 145 soft skills course that we have at the undergraduate level. Friends, uh, learners and all those who are connected, we are, uh, these days we are, uh, you know, when we are surrounded by some kind of negativity on account of pandemic, there is a kind of concern in everyone's mind that perhaps soft skills are also facing a threat. Everyone is concerned about himself or herself. Everyone is looking at phone all the time. If you go to uh, uh, public places, if you tra are traveling in public transport, no one has to do anything else. No one is concerned about the well-being of people uh, nearby. So there is a, a kind of concern that perhaps soft skills are uh, also going to be uh, in a way uh, eliminated very soon. So I, I think that today's discussion that we are going to have is in that direction. And we are saying that it is important you know, to nurture, to uh, talk about uh, soft skills. It is important that we take into account uh, the aspect of creativity. How can we learn to be creative? And when I'm going to discuss with you today, I mean, I'll be uh, touch upon how can we define uh, creativity? How can we understand and uh, absorb the parameters to understand creativity? We will also discuss how we can use creativity as, as a soft skill. We are also you know, going to elaborate on how to measure creativity, how to learn creativity. We'll also discuss ways and means as far as application of creativity is concerned. I'll also, you know, uh, talk about how we can, you know, uh, s some tips as to on a day-to-day -day basis, how we can talk about uh, the uh, creativity part uh, and, and the soft skills part. Friends, like, you know, it is when we understand, when we, you know, uh, uh, as, uh, think about like what is the purpose of education? Why do we spend so much time in acquiring knowledge and, and all the degrees that uh, you, know, you are studying? I think it is basically about uh, discovering our most creative self. When we are uh, studying, the, I mean, it is, you know, creativity is, is the bottom line, is, is the hallmark, is the most important aspect. I think it is, it is the purpose of human life also. In that sense, I'm saying that nothing can match the importance of uh, creativity. If, if you look at how can we define creativity, friends, I mean, if you, if you look at the Oxford uh, Learners uh, Dictionary, we find that creativity has been linked with the use of skill and imagination to produce something new or produce art. That is very important. And, and you'll find that, you know, uh, like, you know, what are the keywords here where you have to uh, new and uh, artistic, which is uh, something unique and which is very uh, aesthetically very, very pleasant. So there are like, you know, we have to, uh, you know, let's, let's look at the word skill, imagination, produce new and art. That is very important. So, well, you know, it's, it's a skill. It could be any skill and that can be explored. It, it, in other words, I may say that it refers to an ability that any person may possess. Creativity also involves in using one's skill in an innovative way. It, this would be possible when you apply imagination to use your skill effectively. I think that, you no, know, like if, we, if I take you to uh, William Wordsworth, the way he talks about like, uh, you know, spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings recollected in tranquility, that is how he would talk about it. And, and then, you know, like, you know, imagination is the most crucial component of creativity. You, you of course, you follow uh, people, you know, who have done it before you, but then you have to give it a very decisive, very uh, unique dimension to this to appeal the uh, 
imagination of others also. So, yes, let's, let's go forward. What are the key indicators of creativity? How, how do we assume that you know, this, this, will go, this will lead to creativity? It's newness, novelty of the idea. How, how you, know, you are adding to the current body of knowledge that is available. That is very crucial. And if, if you are not thinking about that, perhaps you need to you know, you know, redo that again. Skill or talent, you have to identify. Is, is it uh, writing? Is it thinking? Is it analysis? It is uh, contemplation. You know, you, like you know, you will discuss about Bloom's taxonomy in, the, in that sense and how you know, uh, lear, you know, application and learning knowledge part, all those you know, aspects uh, get covered. Then it comes you know, after skill and talent, I told you about imagination nation where you have to you know just you know, with open eyes or closed eyes you see this world in a unique way in a in a very distinct way and imagine a new reality imagine a new world order imagine and come out with a new world view that is important and which has to be aesthetically pleasing sometimes you know we 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 have to we are little you know we we develop a sense of repulsion also but that 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 sense of repulsion uh, and that that kind of uh, no, I mean disinterestedness has also, you know, uh, aesthetically pleasing. That is very important, and it has to be appropriate and balanced. You see, whatever you think, you know, I mean, whatever far-fetched imagination or like your know, your flight of uh, imagination, you know, it it has to be balanced. It has to be logical. We discuss it at other levels of the course about seven C's of uh, communication. I think that that has to be like completeness, credibility and clarity, all those aspects have to be brought in so that we can understand the aspect of, of you know, appropriateness and, and then uh, balanced approach. We are also like, you know, we, we need to, when we are discussing about creativity, thinking out of the box. Out, you know, this word is a very cliched, oft repeated and you know, sometimes not taken very seriously, but it is crucial. Out of box means when you are imagining this, uh, reimagining this, and when you are uh, not about to come out with your unique uh, statement, whether it is really you know, uh, new, whether it, has, it, it will really lead to uh, uh, you know, a kind of, you know, it will make a qualitative change to the current body of knowledge, that is very important. So yes, um, I was, uh, you know, we were discussing as to how do, how do we define creativity. You see, if you, if you look at like, you know, psychologists, you know, they view creativity in a slightly different manner. Their emphasis is more on thinking differently so that it helps in problem solving. Friends, you see, creativity is not about your self-enhancement and aggrandizement. It is about making this world better, you know, kind of taking a taking it to a next level where you are enabling everyone else to 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 you know utilize the, the, uh, the this global uh, 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 place in in a better way that is important so you know the problem solving if whatever you are doing if you are writing if you are into uh, singing or any other artistic purpose or any other uh, scientific discipline even that has to be in a way problem solving Creativity can also be defined as the tendency to generate or recognize ideas, alternatives and possibilities. This is also like, you know, after what you have uh, studied, after you have uh, taken into consideration what has been uh, uh, thought about, what has been created and what has been given to you uh, by uh, your predecessors, then how you, can you uh, put that in perspective and find a way forward, you know, generate and recognize ideas. So you, you, you put, you know, you'll find all positive and negative ideas. The way you can merge those together, the way, the way you can set up a sense of equilibri equilibrium there and then you know you can find a way forward that is important this is also important that when we are talking about problem solving we are talking about recognizing ideas and exploring new possibilities is also also important that you know there is a stress on communicating with others you see people give us ideas you know when we are part of a larger uh, scheme of things then you know we we come come across you know newer issues problems challenges and then we discover ways how how shall we overcome that so that is very important and communicating with others and entertaining ourselves you know this is very important friends like uh, 
I, I told you that, like, you know, how, you know, it's, it's a skill, it's about imagination, it's about, uh, like, what are the character's traits and learning habits. Uh, I think this is very important, and I would say that resilience comes first. What is resilience here? An ability to tolerate uncertainty and persevere at a task to overcome obstacles. Everyone is saying that we are living in VUCA times. VUCA is like where things are volatile, uncertain. You, and and uh, we, we cannot, you know, uh, I mean, make out as to what will be uh, the order next day. I mean, volatile, uncertain, and, and ambiguous also. So VUCA, like, you know, I think it is about that, that where we, we become resilient. We, we refuse to give up. We, 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 we don't say that, you know, uh, we don't say no, we, we, we uh, you know, we accept our uh, failures, we accept our challenges, and then, you know, that, that, that never say die attitude is, is our, um, you know, mantra, is our, our, our way of functioning, is, is a part of our attitude that is central. So after resilience, after a never say die attitude, after, you know, I mean, always on, on, on your mission, that is very important. So not being uh, afraid to make or learn from mistakes, that is very important. This is it's about effort. Creativity is not that you wake up one day and then you become creative. It's a constant sense of uh, ability to keep nurturing yourself, keep finding keep learning from the mistakes, never uh, feel shy of, of the failures, whatever failures which come your way is, is in a way to enhance your idea of creativity. The perfection is, 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 is a part of like, you know, is, is not one uh, stop point, is, 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 a, you know, is, a part, is, is, is a part of your journey. And then we are talking about an ability to suspend judgment while generating ideas. Friends, you know, it is it's easier to judge people. It's easier to kind of, you know, uh, uh, you know kind of arrive at conclusion, conclusions very soon. That is not how it should be. Creativity also, you know, uh, involves a sense of clear judgment and impartial uh, uh, attitude where you are not making any Prejudice, uh, prejudiced opinions about anyone and you, where you are generating ideas and willingness to take sensible risks, that is important. Where you are not uh, fearful of, of uh, uh, the, the you know, consequences, sometimes you know, we, we uh, you know, fear of losses, we fear of some, some kind of you know, uh, disruption in our regular routine, but that is not how it should be. We should be willing to put that something to the stake. We should be willing to kind of, uh, you know, not compromise from the larger vision that we have and then, you know, to, to go out of the comfort zone. We have to come out of that, that cozy, you know, uh, chamber that we develop around ourselves. We need to uh, kind of fight out and we need to uh, overcome our, our, you know, comfort zone to be able to come up with that, that, you know, new creative self that we are talking about, imaginative self, and then something which will solve problem for not only at the micro level but at the macro level also that is important so what we are discussing here that you know key factors you know that this is something that thinking out of the box is something that we discussed already where you are about originality where you are talking about uh, 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 you know you know we we can discuss like you know what are the traits in this uh, when we say thinking out of the we can elaborate on this a bit further where we are talking about innovation production divergent thinking and originality this is like you know i i think out of box you know may appear to be a bit, bit abstract to all of us and and like where, where we are you know innovating innovation where you you develop a new premise where you develop a new uh, order uh, like whatever whatever is there you know existing previously so production is is like you know you understand what are the four production of 
uh, uh, what are the four factors of production we, which involves like in economics we study land labor capital and entrepreneur you have to put together and that there is a sense of entrepreneurial self is involved so you know it's not about just you know visualizing and putting things in 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 uh, at the mental level no it's about production it's about putting your hands in the mud putting your whole self in into the perspective and then you know creating something and when we are talking about divergent thinking it's about putting all available you know uh, uh, world views in in a perspective taking into account some alternatives you know those who are opposing you those who are kind of countering you with uh, alternative opinions they are trying to uh, help you you know like you know what kabir used to say you know nindak niere rakhiye angan kuti chhavaye you know that is very important that we 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 you know assimilate of people we you know when we are saying the, the that you know i mean in our group behavior in our team behavior when we listen to each other when we listen to you know even unspoken words even when we read between the lines that is how it 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 you know helps us and and divergent thinking where you know sometimes you just come out of the usual way that you you know normally think and then you come you know think from like you know you step into someone else's shoes you you, you know that is difficult to step into someone else's shoes but that is required to to uh, become a true leader to to come out with a creative self divergent uh, views divergent ideas alternative opinions uh, multiple uh, perspectives that that will pave our way that will create a smoother way for us in in our our endeavor to uh, make our creativity count that is uh, very important as far as originality is concerned originality is, is some people say that it's a myth or if whatever like you know i mean uh, 20 centuries which have gone by i mean everything has been done how can we come out with uh, originality i think this is important that we you know i mean each uh, one of us is is a uh, you know is is you know a person who can bring about something new something uh, creative something imaginative so is is though abstract i i would say that we should still try and like uh, continue in in that direction to uh, you know achieve something original i think uh, if 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 uh, you know you uh, think you know constantly in the direction of 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 making this world a better place of how you know because what what previous people did they perhaps you know at that time humanity was not surrounded uh, with so many issues so many problems and challenges so what you will do, do now for example how the whole uh, movement in this world is uh, being scuttled and and in, uh, in a way uh, you know it the whole world has come to a standstill how what now you do Uh, like what our scientists do what our um, front line warriors do that that will create uh, something very very new original imaginative and i, I think that yes uh, we we are born to make a very original unique uh, aesthetically ple- pleasant contribution uh, for the humanity if we go forward like you know there is a knowledge dimension there when when we think about creativity when we uh, uh, you know discuss about uh the uh, uh idea i think there's a factual knowledge aspect where we we put into perspective the basic elements that students must know to to become acquainted with a discipline or solve problems in it i like it is about whatever the body of knowledge that is available we simply cannot overlook and discount whatever uh, you know other people have done so in in that thing we have to take into account factual knowledge domain uh, dimension after that we have a conceptual knowledge dimension which is about interrelationship among the basic elements within a larger structure that enable uh, them to function together so yes uh, that knowledge dimension where we uh, keep into account like you know the statistics part you know factual uh, which which remains static which remains you know it's, it's a matter of uh, and then comes the conceptual knowledge which is like principles and and, and disciplinary uh, designs 
and relationship with, where, where you put together the basic elements in a larger structure. So in, while following creativity, it is, about, it is important that we keep in perspective uh, the knowledge dimension also in this. Uh, we, when we are talking about uh, factual and then conceptual, it is important that we look at the procedural also, how to do something. We, we in, in our checklist, we can you know, kind of demarcate as to you know, how to do something, methods of inquiry, cr criteria for uh, using skills, algorithms, techniques, methods. In the, the times of artificial intelligence, I mean, these things have begun to uh, matter even more. So we, we will take into account like algorithms, techniques, and methods which go into the, the procedural part. How, like, you know, this is like how it will be done. You know, what will be the procedure? And then, you know, at, at, on the top of it, you find a metacognitive knowledge where you have knowledge of cognition in general as well as awareness and knowledge of one's own uh, no so this is uh, very important that you you know at the level of uh, micro and macro analysis where you you know where you have concept and procedure uh, before you and then you have your individual and and the larger picture before you then if if we begin to think about in uh, in that direction that will count uh, very much so, and then like you know uh, I mean, we will uh, you know try and you know, like some some this uh, chapter with with some ways of thinking creatively creatively what what are the ways i mean i would suggest that we need to brainstorm ideas on one topic onto a larger piece of paper don't edit like you know just put in whatever there in your in your mind just like you know write it down and as soon as they come into don't delay whatever like you know if you see some you know on a street on a red light if you see someone begging you do do you do you not feel shaken do you not feel disturbed do you not kind of Look at it in a different way, and do you not feel like making a change to to this this the, the kind of scarcity that people are facing? What do you what does uh, you know hit your mind? Would you just note that you do you do think of some solution at that time? What what are the what is that emotional outburst? Do you do you immediately come out with some? Do you I would suggest that you write it down, brainstorming. Thinking aloud, you know, just putting in, in perspective, allowing yourself to play with an idea while you go for a walk. Like I'm saying that, you know, constant thinking, allowing your, your mind to absorb and react to the situation. That is very central. And then you have to, you know, I, I was saying that, you know, using, you know, writing all that down. Otherwise, we may tend to forget. And if you have written it down, you can you know, cross check, you know, you can complement idea number one to you know all other ideas in the in the line so kind of kind of you, know, you can sequentialize them or you can you know set up some cross connection also in between so that is important ask the same question at least 20 times and give when in the first part when we were talking about balanced thinking aesthetical balance aesthetical pleasantness i think that is that is sorted out and attended when we are asking the same question when we come across a problem, do, do we think that the problem that we have come up with is the most effective, is the most, uh, have we come up with the most effective solution? If we ask that question time and again, constantly, with a sense of relentless and resilience, I think then we will be able to come up with alternative solutions, different solutions, solutions which will be appreciated by others. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, like add to that, that uh, those ways that we, that through which we can develop creative thinking, creativity, you know, combine some of the features of two objects or ideas to see if you can create several more. Again, a divergent thinking where you, you, you bring together two, you know, different perspective. Sometimes, you know, if you have, if you study the, uh, it's a European model. If you go to the African cont continent, if you go to uh, Australian continent, and then you know you 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 broaden your worldview with how people there have developed a solution. People have they they have come up with a, an idea to come out uh, you know with with you know a life saving thing that is important. 
change your routine is is like you know don't fall into a very dead uh, uh, you know you can say prosaic routine and you have to you know think uh, in a different way you, know, you have to walk a different route uh, to you know your your college your university or even if if you are within your house you can you know switch places and you know you can look at this world from different uh, frames of reference so that is very important and you you, uh, you know uh, you know what, what i'm trying to suggest that you have to allow your mind to to be influenced by new stimuli such as you know sometimes you may try some art music uh, literature and other cultural uh, um, uh, you know practices that 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 are so very popular in our country and we have to you know open to ideas and when when uh, they are still you look for the ways of making things work and pushing the idea to its limits that is so very central like you know you have to take uh, the one idea to its logical culmination you cannot give up halfway you if if you have you are developing an idea about say for example climate change poverty long uh, overdue problems that, which which you uh, know critical problems before humanity which are uh, looking for which are being looked for solutions so you, if, if you are thinking about that you have to take it to its uh, limit to, to until uh, and unless you find a solution to that that is very central so i would suggest this and these these are the ways and again i'm what what i'm trying to suggest to you what we are trying to discuss here is is a step in that direction you can always come out with your own we, we are basically discussing the broad general principles there is always something that you can do rely and we always say that you know this is the you know being creative is is the hallmark is the overall larger purpose of our education so whatever you do in a day when you you know listen to people read people write about and speak about then you have to you know absorb these principles practice these principle and if, if there is something new that you can always uh, talk about i mean when when we are talking about ways of nurturing this there are a couple of things that i have listed for you in terms of reflection reflection is you know is a high order where you are constantly engaged with when there is no sense of you no know, break you know it's, it's not like you know my study hours is like you know 6 hours you know reflection is about 24 hours a day 365 um uh, uh, 350 65 days a year so that that kind of 24 into 7 engagement with with the issue and pr problem that you are engaging rationality again we are talking about a intelligent way of handling things where you you know you talk about balance you talk about equilibrium you 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 talk about feasibility where you talk about you know uh, how you know looking at the harmonious holistic ways of uh, uh, how this humanity has evolved honesty is very important you you cannot you know do something very very sensational and you know in, in, just to make the change i mean creativity is about uh, you know highest principle way of honestly putting uh, up solutions so again self awareness open mindedness and discipline you i'm 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 sure you are observing these and we are we are discussing this in a very uh, important way detailed uh, manner in our course material you would be uh, trying to you know study that even more during the course of this that, that will that will help you again you know there is no uh, you know shortcut to success discipline will ensure that you you are uh, able to achieve all your uh, goals your uh, de destinations and uh, open mindedness i have i have told you that a, a intellectual a original person a creative person has to be public minded has to listen to people if you like india is a microcosm of the whole world if you go around if you you know go like say northeast if you go to uh, you know south if you go to west you know you'll find that different people have different unique ways of imagining this world you put that in in a in a you know in, in a manner that you are able to present a more uh, a practical more uh, unique idea about you know solution solving the most enduring problems before us so i think this is how we can understand creativity this is how we have discussed uh, uh, some ways some challenges in our way 
and, and, and this, this course that we are uh, discussing at the undergraduate level, BEGE 145, soft skills, I think uh, you continue studying this even more. If, if there is any problem, we will discuss uh, with you. There are like, you know, uh, some useful tips. If, if you, you know, uh, if there is something you want to do, just do it in case of a block, take a break. Emotions uh, do bring solutions. Don't, don't, you know, just, you know, be like, you know, just about facts and figures, you know, improve your note taking keep writing and there's a there's a uh, the best time for everything have other people to evaluate your ideas you know this this kind of you know asking your uh, uh, peers your classmates your colleagues your people in the neighborhood you know develop a dialogic uh, discussion framework where you can come up with so again I'm, I'm saying that you know you you may discuss this and I would thank you for your uh, uh, this uh, constant uh, presence and, and your attention. We will come back with a, a similar program very soon. And in the meantime, you keep uh, uh, studying the material that we have shared with you. I wish all the best and all the success and a creative best uh, uh, in, in your life. Thank you very much.